Hi, and thanks for joining us for another PDQPD. Today I'd like to show you about the new Explorer feature in Google Docs. You may recall from uh, previous PDQPDs or from your own work that there used to be a tool in here called the Research Tool, and that allowed you to cite um, some things that you find on the internet and add some uh, other resources. That has been replaced by a tool called the Explore tool. Now don't fear because some of those features um, such as the site are rumored to be coming back into the uh, tools bar. But for now I just want to show you the Explore feature. Now you saw up here in tools that the Explore option is here but the Explore is also down here in the lower right. Um, and this is available in a number of the Google apps, but today I'm just going to talk about Docs. I have here the Gettysburg Address, just as something to use for a reference, and I'm going to click the Explore button, and you can see that this panel opens on the right that gives us some topics um, regarding the content that it sees here. So Google is using its machine learning to um, see what you have here and give us some, um, some reference material. So you have some topics here you have some images and then you have some related research here after you've entered this um, Gettysburg address here maybe you wanted to put some other information on it once you've seen your research you can start typing from here um, if you wanted to reference this you could click on it and it would open that in a new window it takes you to a site you see these images here you can click on one of these images bring it directly into your document. In this case it was large enough to add a new page and you see it also gives the site from which the picture came. And then if you click here on one of the topics, it opens up some reference for that topic and you can see it gives you some web addresses for that particular topic. Also gives you some images for that particular topic and then this is new and it's kind of interesting. Um, this is the drive and what this will do is reference your Google Drive to see if any of that topic information is in a document or something that's in your Google Drive. It's kind of neat. I do want to remind you though, um, unlike the old research tool, these images are not filtered so you have to be really cautious of what you're doing and make sure it's licensed for your kind of use so you don't violate any copyrights. Uh, the old version had a um, filtering in there where you could sort by copyright. So this is the Explore tool in Google Docs. I think it will be a great asset to you as you develop your Google Docs and I'll give you some more opportunities. Keep uh, looking for the tools bar to see if the uh, site and reference comes back and in the meantime have a great day.